So Meta just released their latest open source AI model, Llama 3.1, and Mark Zuckerberg has been on a press tour detailing why open source AI is good for developers, good for Meta, and good for the world. Some people see you as an unlikely champion of open source today. You're laughing. Well, I don't know why. I, I mean, I actually think, well, I, I, I get it, but yeah. But that's not what's most important today. Zuck's change from Zuck boy to boy is. His internal operating system updated from snark running on vacuum tubes to Llama 6.9. What is this? He went from Mr. Steel Yo Data to Mr. Steel Yo Girl. If this change isn't a testament to how good Llama AI models are, then I don't know what is. So in this video, I had to take a look under the hood of Llama 3.1 to see just how good this LLM actually is. So Llama 3.1 consists of three different models. 405B is their new release with 405 billion parameters, and then they have 70B and 8B, which are updated versions from Llama 3, and is on par with the leading LLMs like GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet in human evaluation and code generation, in solving complex math problems, and reasoning. Which is important to note because Llama used to be worse than all of them, and now it is on par with them while being open source. Um, actually, it's more like open weights, not open source. Because if you can't fork it and turn it into a shitty model that has more bugs than features, then it's not really open source. It's like calling a compiled binary open source. You can have access to it, you can use it, but that's about it. It's free like free beer, not like freedom. Unless you're a tech giant with 700 million plus users, then it's neither. But since you're just a guy coding in your mom's basement, you don't have to worry about that. Now I can run Llama 3 locally on my machine, but not 405B because the thing is huge and it's gonna cost you a lot of dollar dollar bills to run. Instead, we can use Meta.ai, Grok, or NVIDIA's Playground to run 405B and test it against ChatGPT 4.0, as well as Claude 3.5 Sonnet and see which one is a better coder. So I'll ask each LLM to write a function to reverse the order of words with punctuation and keep the punctuation in place with an example and display the output. Now Meta AI imported string and wrote about 30 lines of code with the expected output to look like this. And when we run it, that's exactly what we get. So, huh, not bad. ChatGPT imported regular expression operations and about 30 lines of code as well with the expected output to be this. And when we run it, well, it doesn't work. <laughs> All right, Claude Sonnet also imported RE, about 30 lines of code with the expected output to be this. And when we run it, it actually works. However, the output isn't exactly the same as what we expected. There is one part that is missing. And that is when you see the result that Claude 3.5 Sonnet gave us, it's not exactly the same as what it told us we'd get, but it is exactly what we wanted in the first place. It kept the punctuation in place in regards to word order, and it did what we asked it to do by reversing the word order here. Test A is this, whereas Llama did not reverse the word order, it reversed the order of the letters of each word. And Claude keeps the punctuation in place as it should. One word, comma, one word, exclamation point, and a period at the end. So Llama wrote code that worked as it intended, but did not correctly follow the prompt, while Sonnet did a better interpretation of what we were asking, and while it didn't match the output that it said it should match, it still gave us the output that we actually wanted in the first place. So long story long, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, based on this very simple test, which is not uh, exhaustive, is still the best coding LLM that there is. None of them are great, but it's better than, you know, most developers that I've worked with in the past. <laughs> maybe they'd be better if they learned their skills from today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Like maybe taking one of these courses to learn JavaScript or Python or object-oriented programming. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives, offering thousands of classes taught by industry experts. So you can learn things like business or illustration and design, or even things about productivity from some of your favorite YouTubers. Skillshare has something for everyone from beginners to pros. And this summer, Skillshare is offering the first 500 people to use my link in the description, a one month free trial of Skillshare. So get started learning a new skill today via a class or a complete learning path. 
And now I'm sure you're worried about security of Llama 3.1, but you shouldn't worry. Meta has created a suite of tools in C++ to evaluate and improve the security of your LLM. And as we know, nothing ever bad happens when you're coding in C++. And instead of just wrapping a proprietary API endpoint, developers can now integrate the AI deeply into their product in a more cost efficient and performant way. There is no vendor lock-in and we can blindly trust Meta and Zuck to never pull the rug once Llama becomes the industry standard. In Zuck's write-up titled Open Source AI is a Path forward, he expressed his frustrations with being constrained by Apple, the tax on developers, the arbitrary rules that apply, and that block product innovations from shipping in the first place. It's somewhat soul crushing to like go build something that you think is going to be good and then just get told by Apple that you can't ship it because they want to like put us in a box because they view us as competitive. He said, this is a major reason why I believe so strongly in building open ecosystems in AI and AR VR for the next generation of computing. But also think of it this way, Llama is more available to the masses, including the research community, and everybody will be using this common tool set. And think about the products that Meta can make if the industry standardizes on Llama. They would have a front row seat and not just the access to the latest unreleased models, but also setting the direction of progress in what the next gen LLM optimizes for. Or maybe they just want generative AI at people's fingertips since they are in the attention business and that's how they profit, so the more content, the merrier. And I'm sure they don't mind that it negatively impacts their direct competitors who are spending billions of dollars on the same thing, but keeping it closed. But you still have to give credit where credit is due. Mark Zuckerberg and Meta are the only big tech companies doing this. And even though it's not technically open source, you have the open weights, you have the packages, and hell, you're even getting the code, about 300 lines of Python and PyTorch, which is used to train the model across 16,000 H100 GPUs. What you're not getting is the training data. But still, you're still getting access to a state-of-the-art LLM that cost billions of dollars to train and run for free. The access for free, not being able to use it for free. And not just use it, but you're able to do all of these things to make Llama your own, like fine-tuning it, which is probably one of the coolest aspects about it. Just make sure that if you do use this, that your exit strategy isn't to sell your AI startup to one of the major tech conglomerates because they won't be able to buy it. So to wrap this up, Llama 3.1, solid. Open source AI, even better. And Mark Zuckerberg's redemption arc, who'd have thought?